Greg, in three years, the Trump tax laws are going to expire. Now, I've heard that the uh, Congress is not going to say, oh, we're going to raise taxes. But what we, they will do is they'll let those expire and taxes will automatically go up. So for somebody who comes into your office, you know, within the next couple of months, this is something that you've probably got to build into the plan that taxes may go up. How do we have that conversation? What do we do? Well, it's a tough conversation, right? You know, taxes is one of the least oh. fun things to talk about <laughs> when you're talking about oh, we're going to invest your money in X and we're going to go out and do Y and we're going to go golfing and we're going to call you on your birthday and we're going to do all this fun stuff. You know, bringing up taxes is something that financial advisors avoid, you know, like the plague. Mm -hmm. and, and and I think, you know, we take personal pride. You know, we have our own tax firm. So um, one of the things that we build for every client is a tax map. And and I guess I'll get to that in a point, a second. But the reason the, you know, um, sunsetting uh tax cuts is so important is that means taxes are only on sale for three more years. Uh -huh. And that's how people should look at them. My taxes are on sale. And if you take that mindset, I think it'll be easier to manage yourself when you have to start paying taxes. You know, I think that's one of the hard things that we have to coach our, our, our clients through is that we're actually going to pay taxes. That's how you beat uncle Sam by kicking the can and waiting is when uncle Sam wins. So you know, when we're talking to people about their IRA, you know, normally their largest asset, we, we start talking and having those hard conversations, like maybe we should take out more or convert more. And they're like, well, I don't need to spend it. I'm like, I didn't say spend it. I said, just, just get it taxed. And let's get to a point where we don't bump you to the really high tax bracket. And we don't screw up your Medicare, but let's get this money out as fast as we can, because it really is a tax time bomb, right? You know, at the end of the day, if we don't do anything and sit on our hands, Randy, regardless of, you know, issue one, the taxes are going to go up, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we almost know that for certain. The highest debt ever, you know, lowest tax rates ever. It's not rocket science. You know, you know, point two, you know, what, 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 you know, what about when your spouse passes? Well, when your spouse passes, your tax rates will go from a couple to a single. So mm -hmm. now you're going to be payer higher tax rates on those IRA dollars and have to take out the same amount, you know, issue three, you know, if we're going down this waterfall, the surviving spouse passes and it goes to the kids who's still working. So now they're at the highest tax rate. So now we have, you know, the fear of obviously tax rates just going up in general, which will hurt us. We have the widow's penalty and we also have the kiddo's penalty. So the only way to avoid these, the secret sauce here is to have a team that can put together a plan that shows you how much and when to take money out of your IRA as fast as possible so that you tax it on your terms versus crossing your fingers and hoping, hoping Uncle Sam doesn't take too many. And Randy, it's substantial. Like, you know, if you do a tax map with Golden Reserve, a lot of times we can get things out for 10, 12 cents on the dollar. If you run into the full buzzsaw of a widow's penalty and then a kiddo's penalty, you could end up paying 40 cents on the dollar. And, and, it, and it, I mean, it's almost half your IRA that goes off to your kids. And the key here is Uncle Sam knows this. You're not around anymore when it goes to your kids. Your kids are just like, uh, this stinks, but whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, like, it's like, you know, they just inherited a half a million dollar IRA and they're like, hey, you can only keep 300,000 of it. And they just kind of shrug their shoulders and say, okay, yeah. I, I got $300,000 I didn't have yesterday. Mm -hmm. And they move forward. Whereas mom and dad are rolling over in their grave because they're like, oh my gosh, we didn't spend that money because we wanted to go to our kids. And next thing you know, you know, it's not going to our kids, it's going to Uncle Sam. And, and, and I think that's one of the things that get missed. So these tax cuts are very timely and important and something that people should be thinking about. And if their you know, financial advisor's not talking about it, shame on them then. Because that's, I mean, how can you say you're doing planning in retirement if you're not talking about the tax consequences for your largest tax liability, which is your IRA?